I have something interesting to talk with you all about today. So as you may know, weight loss is kind of a numbers game. What you eat, how much you eat, and what you calculate your intake to be, it's a numbers game. Um, but the thing that a lot of people don't know is even though you may calculate your goal using you know, scientific calculations, those actually end up being estimates because those calculations came about based on the average of a certain number of people that they did this calculation for to determine what helps them reach their goals. Now, you could calculate it and it could be just about right and you're in the ballpark number and if you eat that much every day, then you start to lose weight. That's great. It can work for a lot of people. But again, it's just an estimate. So you have to be prepared to modify your intake, make adjustments, small adjustments, 100 or 200 calories here or there. Um, but again, it's one of those things. There's no exact science to the amount of food that you need. Okay, so everybody's body's different. You have to, you know, work with what you have with the calculation that you use. If you were determined, say you need 1500 calories and you eat that every day for, you know, a few weeks and say you're not losing weight, well then you need to either be eating more or less and you need to work on making the adjustment needed. And the interesting thing is there's people out there that do basal metabolic testing where they have you like breathe into a mask and it's supposed to analyze your breath and determine what your metabolic rate is and give you some more precise information. However, I called a guy that did that for a living and he told me it ends up being just an estimate. It's not an exact science. So again, what's the point of going through all that where you have to like fast for 12 hours, don't have any caffeine for a day, you know, make sure you sleep good. I mean, all kinds of things you have to make sure you do for those kinds of tests. Um, but at the end of the day, it could be an estimate and it could be wrong. So you really have to learn to adapt to how you're eating and see how it affects your, your body fat composition. Do you need to cut your portions, change the types of foods you're eating? I mean, all kinds of things go into play here. Maybe it's the amount of exercise you're getting is inconsistent um, and so you need to change your your food intake based on that so now that I told you that I bet you're wondering well now how much do I eat well just a little tip start by having your meals about the size of your fist and you know eat uh, every few hours have four to six meals a day see how it does for you